Hey guys, Matt with Mancore here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you an overview of our latest install, Ogdo Killer by Dennis Lukianov. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since our last video uh, with COVID. It's been tough for Hank and I to get together and do our builds, but restrictions started to lift and we were able to do our first commission uh, work of 2021. Starting off, this is uh, again the Calcestis uh, lightsaber from Fallen Order. Really, really fantastic detail work here on the up upper emitter section and these uh, side emitter guards that uh, really make this uh, saber starting to become a very iconic one. Uh, down to the emitter switch section. This is a one button setup. Um, there is not a auxiliary switch on this lightsaber. So everything has to flow through this one button. Now this is a uh, CFX board in here and it does handle that. Um, but as we kind of get through some of the functionality, we'll show you uh, how everything's activated through the single button. On the emitter section here, you can see uh, these vents and on this saber, uh, it actually is vented. Um, it goes all the way through and what I did is we put a piece of uh, basically like sound foam in here um, so that the sound can vent out through these shafts but you don't see through it and you can see it's really nice and black and it's got a little bit some uh, greeblies here going down and then the famous split saber uh, it was cut in half. And what's really awesome about this one is compared to other ones on the market, is this actually looks burnt and twisted and um, really looks like it's been through a battle. Just amazing detail. Now to access the inside of the saber, uh, there's a little coupling right here that you just spin. And then when it's decoupled from the saber, I always like to spin the entire handle off. Um, it just ensures that this is such a tight fit. We don't want this skin snagged or anything. And so by kind of twisting off, it's just a good practice for this saber or really any saber you have. When we look at the chassis here, this was uh, a chassis by uh, Goth 3D. Really, really nice, high quality, high printed uh, uh, chassis that I got. Uh, battery compartment goes right here. Um, and then on the other side, you see we've got our CFX board. With our SD card can be accessed right here. Now we did make a little modification um, to move the board down. You can see uh, we wanted a little extra room for some wires to tuck. The reason for that is the speaker is actually located right here. So on other builds previously, this wiring usually could be held up in the bottom part of the of the switch section. But because the speaker is located here, there really is no room. So we just kind of slit a little bit down here on the chassis and we're able to kind of get some of our junction wires. Uh, tucked in right nice in there. Now, um, to add the battery, we're just gonna wanna take, uh, and if you can see in here, I've got it labeled. There's a little plus sign in there. So positive side of the battery, always facing towards the back. Real easy, uh, simply wanna slide in the negative side first. You can see there's this little groove, slides in like that. When you get to this, to the top, simply push in. Now make sure you have good support here down at the bottom. You don't wanna crank too hard on the chassis itself because it'll snap. So if you get your hand down there, kind of push against your hand. Slide the handle back on. Same with removing it. It's always nice to kind of just twist it on. And then we spin the silver cuffling here. Really lock it in tight. And there we go. All right, let's get into uh, a little bit of about the functionality of this saber. Now, uh, first and foremost, like I said, it's a single button. Um, set up so everything's gonna run through one button and the first function we're gonna look at is probably the most important how to turn it on um, so real simple it's a single uh, quick hit of the button and that'll activate your lightsaber of course we've got this loaded with a smooth swing um, font all the fonts on here are really reactive to the movement of your hand 
do big swings, small swings, really fast. Uh, while the saber is on, uh, there's a couple features we can do. Um, first is going to be uh, blaster deflect. Now, uh, at the end of the video, we'll pop a blade in this so you can see all these effects in action. Um, but for right now, just for the sake of being able to fit this on the camera, uh, we'll just go ahead and show it without a blade. So first one's going to be uh, blaster deflect, and that's going to be, while the saber is on, just a single click of the button. And you can hit that as fast as you want. Okay, the next function is going to be blade lockup, and this is like the kind of uh, the same effect if you imagine two lightsabers were like clashing and hitting each other. And how you do that while the saber is on, you hold this button down and then you hit the blade. Now we don't have the blade in, so I'm just going to hit the side emitter, but it's the same function. Hold it down and hit it. And you'll get this sound. Now, now the next one is going to be tip drag. Now that's the exact same thing as blade lockup, only it's just the tip of the blade. So if like your blade is dragging along the ground or dragging against the wall, it's kind of a cool effect. And you do the same thing, only you point your saber down. So hold the saber down, press the button in, and hit your blade. And with the blade in right here, you see just the tip lighting up. And then uh, to turn the saber off, simply hold this button down until, um, until all the sounds and lights go off. Now the uh, next uh, feature we're going to look at is how to change fonts. So with the saber in the off position, you want to hold this button down until it cycles to the part that says soundboard selection. So hold it down, keep it held down. Sound bank selection. Second sister. Okay, and then we can let go. Now, second sister uh, is uh, one of the Inquisitor uh, sound fonts that we have loaded on here. To simply go to the next sound font, you just click the button once. Inquisitorious. And that's going to be the ninth sister. Then this is the survivor uh, bundle. So we've got a different, um, basically a different sound font for every color. So that was blue, green, purple. Orange, yellow, cyan. cyan. So it keeps going. We'll go ahead and select cyan. So once you find a uh, font you want in the uh, menu selection, once you're on the one that you like, you hold the button down until you hear the selection cue. So it'll make that little noise, and that means we are locked into cyan. Uh, again, to turn it back on, simply hit the button once. You can see we've got our cyan uh, from the survivor bundle. That's just the name of the uh, of the sound file. And again, all the functions work: blaster deflect, blade lockup, tip drag, and to depower, hold it down. Now, uh, one other function, it's uh, available on every one of these uh, survival bundles, as well as a few of the other fonts, is a music track. To access the music track uh, from the off position, what you're gonna wanna do is press this button twice, so a double click. So in the off position, double click. And you can see we've got the music activated. From this point, uh, all the functions work as normal, so with the music on, you can tap once and uh, ignite the saber. And then hold it down to turn the saber off. But the sound's still going. Now, uh, most of these fonts come with multiple music tracks. So to access the next track, you want the blade off. And you want to hold this down for two seconds until the next um, until the next uh, music track comes on. Yeah. And you can see it loaded onto the next one. To turn off the music, simply double click again. Oops. Try that one more time. Double click again. There you go. So you can see you gotta be real precise with this one button, but double click will access that music track uh, on and off. 
and holding down for two seconds will cycle through the different tracks that are on there. Now a, uh, another feature that you're going to have on each and every font is going to be the ability to change the color on the fly. And so how we're going to do that is first uh, you want to get whatever sound font you want to use uploaded. So this will be, uh, we'll go ahead and load a new font. So we're going to go ahead and load the Ahsoka sound font. Uh, go ahead and click it to confirm. The Jedi was sighted entering the lower city. Then it's just as our Lord predicted. So that, uh, this uh, the Commander Tano fonts, fonts got some really cool kind of quotes and stuff. Um, single button to activate. See, we got Ahsoka's white lightsaber, which is really cool. So say you've got this going, but you wanted to switch to the color. Uh, how you do that is you hold this button down and you flick your wrist uh, to the right to go that way through the menu or flick your wrist this way to go backwards in the menu. So uh, how that looks is hold, click. You can see we've changed to green. If we wanted to go back to the white, we just hold, click and go back the other way and we're back in white. Green, lime green, to yellow, blood orange, orange, red, purple, light purple, even lighter purple, blue, and so on. Okay, that's a uh, real quick overview of some of the functions you can do with the single button. Uh, there's lots of Easter eggs hidden in here, uh, four sound effects, um, hidden quotes, all kinds of fun things to discover as you uh, play around with this. I'll uh, include a list of all of its features uh, in an email with uh, the client that purchased this. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get a blade popped into this and see this blade in action. All right, guys, that's a semi-quick overview of the Ogdo Killer. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.